And all right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the David Hammond Fitness YouTube channel. Now, obviously, this is in a different room. This is in my bedroom, and uh, that's because we're actually moving. So, you know, furniture is, you know, all over the place, but uh, I now have a desk here. So anyways, with that said, let's change it up on the channel a little bit. Start incorporating more of these raw chats and talks with you guys to give you value on fitness, health, nutrition. We have the coffee. It's the morning, we're fasted, and we're just gonna have these chats. So anyways, guys, in this one, I wanted to formally make a video on what is the warrior diet, okay? Now, I've been talking about this, the warrior diet, on the channel for, I mean, depending on when I post this, I either am or have been or will quite a bit. Now, the warrior diet, guys, in a nutshell, is really just a fancy, well, first off, to explain it, the warrior diet was created by a man named Ori Hoff Hoffmeckler, I believe that's the name. He created a book, it's called The Warrior Diet Back in 2001. I actually have not read the book, I, I, I might get it on Audible, but I understand the basis of the book. And essentially guys, what it is, is intermittent fasting tied with clean eating. In a nutshell, that's The Warrior Diet. Intermittent fasting and clean eating. Now, as a bit of backstory to uh, to myself, for you guys, I've been incorporating intermittent fasting into my life for pr probably close to five years now, well over four years. I used to be a men's physique competitor, yada yada, like, you know, I've been in this whole fitness game for a long time, so I'd already been doing the fasting thing, and I'd already been eating fairly clean, or at least in the process of eating clean, so when I found this warrior diet, I was like, oh, this is a no-brainer. I'm sure there are more nitty-gritty details in it, but from what I know, it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward and basic. So, that's it, you know, on this channel, guys, whether I continue to use that exact diet or word itself, I believe I've kind of found my spin on the warrior diet as well as what I call warrior training and then the warrior lifestyle. And that's essentially just my minimalistic high intensity approach to eating, to training, and to living. You know, I believe I take a much different or unorthodox approach to this whole fitness um, game because I just, I don't do everything that everyone does, you know? So I'm just gonna let this, well, that's a fire truck. Why are you here? Anyways, 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 anyways. What I was saying was, um, yeah, I just feel like I take a d very different approach, you know. With me, I'll, I'll explain a little bit with what I incorporate into the Warrior Diet, or really what you guys can expect with this channel. This is kind of like a what's the Warrior Diet, but also what's my channel kind of video, if that makes sense. You know, into the Warrior Diet, some things I really preach are, as well as intuitive eating. You know, so I don't track any calories or macros. I don't, I haven't for many years, and I've actually lost on this shred phase around 20 pounds, and I have in the past many times, without tracking a single thing, okay? I don't like the word, this is kind of like a little Q&A or an FAQ, I don't like the word bulking and cutting. I, I really don't like that polarity because I think that's very toxic and that can be toxic. That can lead to a lot of disorders as well as tracking can. And um, so as far as my warrior diet or the word and kind of my take on it, it's intermittent fasting with clean eating, intuitive eating, no tracking calories and macros, and it's a much more balanced, holistic approach to eating and living in general, meaning there's no polarities. It's not like I'm in a cutting phase, super hardcore, and then I'm in a bulking phase, hardcore. Like You guys need to understand, I'm not going to go deep into the science or the terminology as far as why that happened, but it's based off an old dead system that bodybuilders used to run steroids. Okay, As naturals, it's really not optimal to continuously bulk and cut. That's very damaging for your hormones. It's not optimal physiologically, psychologically, uh, visually, anatomically speaking. Like it's just, it, it, it's not optimal in any way. Okay, if you're a beginner, you can get away with it just because you're gonna gain a bunch of muscle regardless. But if you're a more advanced trained athlete, and I'm sorry, if I look so tiny now, like, should I, should I show you guys? You know what it is? It's these things. They're kind of like holding me in like that. But you know what? Maybe I'll just. Maybe I'll push it back and I'll, and I'll, I'll sit upright for you guys. There, I think that's a little bit better. Is that better? Is that, see, the things you gotta do for the fitness industry, man, you gotta show them that you somewhat lift. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I might cut that. <laughs> but essentially, yeah, that's kind of my take, guys, on fitness, nutrition, etc., etc. I don't think you should be bulking and cutting necessarily. I think you should really be... Now, again, that's probably gonna get a lot of like, Dave, what do you mean you don't bulk and cut? Now... Yeah, I'll make different videos on it, guys. I don't have all the time to explain it here. Just eat, guys. At the end of the day, eat clean, train well. I'm not even going to speak about my training necessarily in this, but eat clean, train well, and just live, okay? The warrior lifestyle, I believe that's what at least I'm calling it now, is just, guys, we eat and we train to live, okay? 
We lift to live. We don't live to lift. That's a, that's a quote I love. You know, we don't spend hours in the kitchen and hours in the gym just to continuously doing that. In fact, like that's where I said, like I like to take a very minimalistic, high intensity approach. I want to be, you know, eating maybe two meals a day, two big meals a day. I only train three days a week, so I can be building businesses, channels. I can be outdoors, I'm looking at beautiful trees right now. You know, a big part of the warrior diet or my take is being outdoors as well. You know, that's massive to me. So. That's kind of it guys in a nutshell on the, what this video is. I believe I'm gonna be doing tons more of these raw videos. We'll just, we'll see, we'll play by ear. I know this wasn't perfect, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. So yeah, that's my take on the warrior diet guys. It's just intermittent fasting. My take on it, my spin is, is, is the intermittent fasting with clean eating uh, mixed with intuitive eating. So you're not tracking calories and macros. You're not really bulking and cutting. You're just eating clean and you're progressing in the gym. As far as training goes, I'll speak a little bit on it here. I'm, it's only training. Or your training is what I'm calling it. It's three days a week. I'll make more videos on this. But three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, pull, push legs, high intensity, hybrid style training. So strength and bodybuilding. Amazing for your muscular system as well as your nervous system. And then the warrior lifestyle is really just being outdoors in nature, being primal, being happy, living your life, building relationships, building your business. Like it's just living the warrior lifestyle. Like we don't spend all this time in the gym and eating to just like you don't eat and lift to just eat and lift. You eat and lift to be a warrior. You eat and lift to go do things in life. Does that make sense? It's like you don't put gasoline in your car to just keep putting gasoline in your car. You put gasoline in your car to, to run your car, to go places. So that's really what I want to preach here because I feel like a lot of times in the fitness industry, that gets uh, that gets lost or confused. So anyways, guys, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The first video, at least here in my room, I'll be banging out tons more of these, these raw chats. So if you guys have questions or comments, put them down below and we will get to it, okay? We will answer it and... Um, yeah, we'll just kick back and chat. And then I'll obviously continue doing the full days of eating the recipe videos. You guys know the flex. So uh, let's do it. I'll talk to you guys then. Thanks so much. Make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, all of that. And we will talk then. Thanks, guys. Peace.